In this video, I'm going to show you the most effective passing concept for attacking zone coverage in the game, and it also has one of the best press man beaters in the game, as well as just pretty decent overall concept. And that is the verticals concept out of the trips tight end formation. Now, if you want to get my entire trips tight end offense, I've been running trips tight end for a really long time, and I've just learned from some of the best players in the world, one of my just my favorite formation all around. If you want to learn my entire version of the trips tight end, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates to those ebooks. And we just dropped a brand new update to our Trips Tight End offense this week in the Patreon. So if you want to sign up, the link is in the description. And like I said, $10 gets you access to everything. The play we're taking a look at today is Trips Tight End, and it's going to be the verticals play. Um, this is such a good passing play this year. It's such a good passing concept, and there's ways to make it even better uh, with the right route combo. So what I like to do is we really want to build around this left hand slot receiver is really, um, or this uh, middle trips receiver right here, Julio Jones, he's the key uh, to the entire play. He is the guy that makes the entire play go. He has this kind of angled or inverted streak. And against trips tied in, one of the things that's actually really popular is people love to play like double flat style of coverage. So double flatting, maybe with a vert hook here, their user over the middle, right? If they play cover two on you, you can just snap the ball. And what you're going to notice here is this you want to high ball and free form it up and over the top. Even if they match on to him with a vert hook, if that guy does not have deep in zone knockout, you're going to score a touchdown every single time. Now, the other thing that this does is we're actually seeing right now in Madden a ton of this, and this is just shaded down man coverage. The beauty of this play against shaded down man coverage, especially if you have the short out elite ability on the seam streak, this seam streak will kind of get this glitchy press animation, and then he'll essentially separate from it. And you're going to freeform that inside um, against that, and he will split those safeties, and you'll be able to have a really, really good concept for cover two man. Now, again, this can come in a couple different ways. Um, another way that people like to play cover two man right now is to do something like this. So even if they don't, even if they don't shade or press, uh, basically, you know, something kind of like this here where we have like bracket style coverage, if you will, where I've got, you know, maybe they put their safeties in the thirds or maybe they put them in outside thirds just from what I just showed you. But if this guy is pressed up in man coverage, he is going to win probably 90 percent of the time just free form inside especially if it's press coverage that is going to just absolutely destroy uh, the man coverage over the top so it destroys man coverage press it also destroys uh, the cover to man with the safeties and thirds and so you kind of start to ask yourself okay so what are some adjustments that people can actually put on the field well maybe they go to zone coverage and i get a lot of zone uh this year uh kind of with where we're at just way people like to play trips and what you're going to notice here is there is something very consistent about this play in zone coverage and it is this quick throw right here you can throw this right in the seam before he gets to the zone defenders um, as long as he's not manned up, this is going to be wide open. And I'll show it to you again here. If you watch, you'll see the Red Sea just parts. This guy is going to the flat. This guy is going to the deep zone. And this, it's because of this fade. He takes that little outside step first, and then he's going to pull these deep defenders. And then this inside, because the way the yellow zones react to the inside breaking vertical route, it really puts this guy in a wide open position to just catch this ball in the seam. And this is fairly consistent. It doesn't really matter what your Madden you're playing. It doesn't really matter what uh, defense you're playing. If they run zone coverage, even right here against cover three, he gets pressed, but then I can easily throw the ball in that little seam area of the field. And then I can also do this uh, against like cover two. So cover two has, uh, if you look at this cover two defense, it has vert hooks. Uh, we have vert hooks right here. What you'll notice is this vert hook will um, kind of again sit and then you can kind of throw it up in this pocket right here. Now, there's another very popular defense right now um, known as DB Fire 2 out of the dollar. So what that would look like would be something like uh, this right here. 
and you have this guy blitzing off of the edge, and then maybe this is your other guy. And let's say that this guy over here is in your kind of vert hook area, right? And then you have your user right here. This is basically, um, you know, what dollar three two DB fire two looks like. You'll see here that that hook curl will kind of suck to the middle uh, against that circle receiver, and you'll be able to throw that wide open every single time. So. Really, really valuable concept. Very difficult to defend in zone. Um, another thing that is very popular right now against zone coverage would be something like this. Um, you know, some kind of double Mabel style coverage. This is going to kind of, again, get right in the pocket. Now, right there, that hook curl actually played it really, really well. Uh, but typically, that is that is more so because of this right here. If this route, because he runs kind of slanted, if you put him on a slot apprentice post... What will happen uh, typically is that this will now really help uh, with any kind of like vari variables like that where, you know, that hook curl kind of gets a little too more outside because now the route is running super straight. And so he won't jump that as good as he did, you know, previously, as you can see. So what are they left to do to stop this route? And, and, and this is super important to understand because if you're running trips, you need to know what they can do to stop you. So really it's this defense right here. This is... Uh, kind of popularized by Dez, uh, but basically we're going to send, you know, send four, and then we're going to take this guy, and we're going to man him up on the tight end, we're going to man this guy up onto that slot receiver, and then we're going to man this guy up here, and we're going to have this guy over here. So you see, this is kind of the basic uh, blueprint style of defense that you're going to get. They're basically bracketing you on the outside, and then they have these cross mans, and so what you'll see here is that this route to Julio Jones, if I try to throw this, it's not necessarily going to be open. But what I can do is I can try to highball and freeform it up and over. But if they have deep route KO, that makes it a little bit more difficult. So really what the best thing is to do if you are getting this kind of like, you know, adjusted man coverage out of zone coverage look, I think really the best thing to do against it uh, is to utilize this slot apprentice post, this right here, this route to green, and then you can take your tight end, put him on a streak, and then we can just run the running back underneath, maybe put a little C route over here on the left side. This now takes it, and we still have everything we need to attack zone, but now we're in a little bit better of a position you know, to be able to maybe attack man if they don't man up that tight end the right way. You can hit that tight end over the top, and now we kind of get into that chess match of you know utilizing some of the best concepts against trip uh, against trips tight end to really counter what they can do defensively and so this is just one of my personal favorite plays this year uh, i think that that post route from the slot apprentice makes this play 10 times better because uh, the way that crosser runs it can be a little bit problematic but when you put a slot apprentice post there it becomes very very good um, another thing you can do is something like this i think this is actually a pretty good variation on this play as well and what you'll see here is now you just give yourself more ways uh, to be able to beat man coverage and when you can start to kind of give yourself more ways I think the tight end route is super important uh, because most people don't hard flat on that trip side so if you can have a route like this drag route to the tight end that can consistently beat man coverage then you're going to have a little bit of an advantage um, you know whenever we're starting to whenever they're starting to kind of adjust and realize that they can just play some off coverage man on you then you go to something like this so anyways this is the trip side in verticals concept one of the most important concepts to grasp if you want to run trip side in at a high level because it really limits what they can do from a coverage defense and then you can go to some of your other concepts like this i think this version of verticals is super good as well because now you've got multiple routes on the on the field that are going to be able to attack man coverage Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire trip tied in offensive ebook, head down to the description below and go join the Patreon at the link in the description.